I'm going to start right off with FPX because I think that's the team that I received the most questions about and also the team that I think people care about the most right now just because they did win the world championship. So we had a couple of FPX questions that all kind of had the same vein. Uh, Two are going to pop up now. The first is, is FPX with Khan in the top lane ever going to be better than an FPX with Gimgoon? And then the second one was the Khan pickup by FPX, a mistake. Khan's talent is wasted on the bench, in my opinion. So um, the latter part of that, I actually do agree with. I think the the a player that is as talented as Khan uh, really shouldn't be on the bench. But I also think whenever offseason hits uh, and a team like FPX has reached the top, you kind of look at around and you're just like, okay, how do I make this team better? And sometimes we look at individual players. A team like FPX isn't like just a grouping of the best mechanical talent in China, right? Like that's not what this team is. Uh, if you track Doinby's career specifically, which uh, I started watching him in 2015, I think like most people did. Um, I didn't watch him when he was a streamer before that. But when he broke on the scene, he already was kind of known for being a little bit weird. Uh, you know, he played Maokai mid in Demacia Cup. He was he always wanted to go with these tanky mids. He always wanted to affect side lanes. And this was something that actually always worked up into a point on every team he was on, right? And then something would happen. There'd be some sort of internal issue on the team like there was in Chaogu. Uh, it just wouldn't end up working. Um, he had kind of a different role when he was on JDG. It didn't work as well uh, on Rogue Warriors for whatever reason. And so when you have a mid laner like this, I think it requires this kind of system where everyone is working together. And if something disrupts that system, like a different top laner, um, like Khan, who is not only like resource heavy, but with a player like him, you don't necessarily want him to play weak side, right? Like you also want him to play strong side because he's such a phenomenal laner. And, and that's how you get the most out of him is by facilitating him and splitting him off in either a one, three, one or a four, one, and just letting him dominate lane, letting him split push. And I don't think FPX in their current iteration is very well suited for that. So I think he just doesn't fit the system currently. I think the reason why they're looking so much better with Gimgoon since returning is for a few reasons. One, um, I think that, you know, Gimgoon just in general is already used to the team and he has better synergy with the team. And he also is, again, just his play style, I think is better suited to what FPX want to do, which is basically have a three man roaming, the threat of a three man roaming unit at any time, right? Like when you check a brush, you don't want it to be like, oh, there might be Join B there. You ha want your opponent to think like, oh, it might be Join B and Tion and Chris because they're all moving. Um, and then the second uh, thing is that they're also playing offline. And I don't know if that just generally plus the addition of Gimgoon has allowed them to play better, but they look significantly better since Gimgoon was added back. And it is sad because I think that I, I agree with the uh, one of the comments that Khan is kind of wasted on the bench, but it also... I don't know if they're going to give up on him. I think for him to work on this team, they do have to adjust some of their system. And I think I do, like I said this in the beginning of the season, I do think it can work, but I think it will require a lot of time and a lot of practice and a lot of shifting from what they do with uh, bot side versus what they do with top side and how also just how sometimes Tian would have to go in and reset like join B's lane uh, because he'd, you know, mess up a minion wave or something. He probably isn't going to have as much time to do that if he's tapping topside. All right. So that's, that's kind of the lowdown on FPX. 